Hey everybody, John W. here. Good evening, greetings from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Okay, we have completed our eight hour break and now it's time to go. We are on our way to McCook, Illinois. That's in the south, southwest of uh, Chicago, Illinois. I wouldn't be surprised if it was right there, Chicago. The local time here is 10.32. Today, once again, it is October 16, 2016. McCook, Illinois is 161 miles. Supposedly, our pickup time is at uh, 1 a.m. I was a bit surprised to why there wasn't so many, not you know, not many people showed up at the party, Eli's birthday party. It turns out that uh, the Packers were playing tonight. That's why. Nevertheless, Eli got a lot of gift. to see me leave. So, what else is there today? says do not turn off so I just I left it behind and yeah I felt really bad on that uh, time-lapse of the pilot and on the way here YouTube editor is not all that great to work with. Speaking of the Packers, yeah, they lost. So, yeah. Yeah, it was 
was a big surprise for me to learn that I was leaving tonight. I thought I was actually going to stay until tomorrow. Can you guys see the flag up there? ideas that I would like to invest on uh, and the only way for me to achieve that is to get some kind of a capital which I don't have and the only thing that I could think of is to sell my motorcycle hey that thing is just sitting there not being used depreciating collecting insurance you know, investment wise I think it's a I think it's a no-brainer it's I think it's a really good investment I just I just don't have the willpower to sell my motorcycle <laughs> sell something you know wow it's foggy out here I haven't seen fog in Wisconsin in a long long time Last time that uh, 
the heaviest fog in Wisconsin was about 15, 16 years ago that it caused a wreck just about eight miles south of here. And I don't know, something like 15 to 20 people died on that accident. They even have a memorial there. It was quite of a big deal because there were people that wanted to put some cross to where the accident site was. Of course, it's on the on the grass, you know, off the road. But the highway department did not want that cross. I don't know for safety reason or because of the so-called separation of church and state BS. I think they fought it all with a Supreme Court. And I think the outcome was the highway department won and they they mainly put the cross on where the fence is where the farmers uh, own the far the land and that's where the cross ended up uh, being stood see you guys in Milwaukee there's not a whole lot out here to see so uh, I'll catch you guys later thanks for watching